Have you ever wished that you had a virtual assistant that could tell you when your subscriptions are coming up for renewal or maybe a membership is going to charge you after a trial period? Well, Today, I'm gonna to show you how to do that for yourself inside of ClickUp. Did you know that ClickUp will send you notifications, it'll send you emails, and it will send you reminders telling you exactly what to do, when to do it, and how to do it. So I'm gonna show you how to program that today. Hi everyone, I'm Lisa from Pretty Fabulous and I help online businesses create beautiful digital downloads using Adobe InDesign. So if this sounds like you or something you might be interested in, make sure to hit the subscribe button below. I post new videos every Tuesday. So today I'm gonna show you how to use ClickUp. Mostly I figured this out because two things. One, I have been buying things twice. Like there's like a Black Friday deal and I'm like, oh my God, that looks like such a great deal. And I not only bought the exact same product that I already own, I totally forgot that I owned it. So I just have been not keeping track of things that I purchased or obviously I'm purchasing too much. And then also the other day, a charge came up on my credit card for, I think it was like deadline funnel, which I totally like and I wanted to use, but I had an overdraft fee because I forgot that deadline funnel was tried to an old bank account that I no longer use and I have put all of my money into a different bank account. And so because there weren't enough funds in there when they went to pull the money, I didn't have the money in there and I got an overdraft fee. So how could I fix this? My first thought was I need to hire a virtual assistant to like track everything for me and send me reminders. But then I remembered ClickUp can actually do all of this for me. So you don't need to hire a virtual assistant. I can save you a ton of money because I'm gonna show you how to use this feature inside of ClickUp today and you can be your own virtual assistant. It's a super simple process. We're just gonna go through three very easy steps. But before we do that, I just wanna reassure you that no matter what plan you're on inside ClickUp, even the forever free plan does have the ability to do automations and email. I think it has a limit of 100 per month, but if you just upgrade to the unlimited to five per month, you can use unlimited emails. So let's go ahead. First up is find your profile here at the bottom. Just click your image and then go to integrations and then you're going to go to email. You're going to toggle this on and then you are going to go ahead and sign in with Google. So I'm going to sign in with Lisa at Pretty Fabulous designs and it really doesn't matter you can use any email account it doesn't have to be the same one that matches up to your ClickUp account um, you're just going to make sure that you have some email assigned and then people that can send emails again this really only matters if you are working with the team it's just me so I'm just going to say myself and then send the email as and I'm just going to call this click up notifications because when I get it in my inbox, I wanna make sure I don't think like it's spam or somehow I accidentally got an email for myself. So that's going to be the name that shows up from when it comes from Lisa at prettyfabulousdesigns.com. And then over here, we can add signatures if we wanted. And again, that's probably more important if you are someone working with somebody else, but because I always like to be on the positive side, I'm gonna add a motivational, um, signature. So I can send like a happy message to myself. So over here, uh, as soon as you, you can label these anything you want and you can have as many as you want. Uh, and we are just going to go ahead and drop in a nice little quote Come over to these three dots and go ahead and say, insert image. I'm going to pick one of my favorite quotes that I just downloaded over here. And I'm going to pop that in. So it's a little large, so we can actually uh, shrink this down, I believe. Yeah, just get the arrow. Done is better than perfect. Um, you're awesome. Have an amazing, amazing day and create something pretty fabulous. How's that? So. I always believe in sending myself positive messages through the internet, even if it is just from myself through ClickUp. Okay, so now we have this signature. And again, like I said, you can add more um, and I can also make things bold. And I think I can also change this into a header. And I believe I could change the color so that it's blue or anything else. Well, I guess I should highlight it and then I can make it blue. 
All right, so I'm pretty happy with this. Uh, you don't have to hit save, it just auto saves for you. Create a template over here, but honestly you don't need that because we're just going to, I'm a team of one, but this is just if you need to create a template to make sure that it gets uniformly sent out with the same information to everyone, then that way you can share it with everybody and then other people on your team can make sure they're sending the correct information. So this is step one, we are now done. We are gonna hop into, I'm gonna hit back, and we're actually going to go ahead and create our first space. So our first space is called space. We're going to change the name of this. Um, we're going to call this uh, my um, auto renewals. And then inside of here, I am going to go ahead and add a new list. So this list is going to be called uh, Lisa's Renewals. And we're gonna start adding things so that we, one, I know when things are due. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to create uh, my credit card payment is due. And so what I need to do is I need to add two things to this. I need to add a start date and a due date. So then I can send myself an email on the start date. And then I can also make sure that I send myself a reminder of when it's actually due. So over here at the top right, we really don't care about when it's created, but you're going to see a little calendar icon and you're going to hit this and you have two spaces in here, start date and due date. So the start date is going to be um, May 1st and the due date is the 15th. So this way I have two weeks to know, hey, I need to allocate some money. I know that this always has to be due every month. So we're gonna make this recurring. So this is gonna recur monthly, the same day each month. Uh, and I'm gonna have this recur forever because I always have a monthly credit card payment. So now I am done with that. And if I want to, we can add another thing in here. So I know that I am a member of Pixie Stock and those are always due. Uh, my membership renews on the 4th, because that's when I sign up. So I'm gonna go over here and I am going to, actually the due date, I know it's gonna be on the 4th. Well, that date's already passed, uh, May 4th. And then I do wanna give myself, again, I like probably a week ahead of time. So I'm gonna go ahead on the 27th and just say that's the start date. So I have a one week notification. And for recurring, again, this recurs every month on the same days and it's just gonna recur forever. So if I was planning to quit Pixie Stock, which I'm not, cause they're amazing and awesome, I would actually put something in there. Now, something else I can put into here is the description. So anything I put in the description, I will see in that email. So I could just send myself a reminder about what it is, like my monthly uh, photo stock library, make sure to uh, fund your, and I could say my 09778 uh, bank account, because that's where it pulls funds from. Uh, before the auto renewal date. And that way too, in case I am thinking about quitting, then I'll know to quit instead. So we are gonna go ahead and save this. And then over here for credit card payment, I could say something too. Um, so this isn't an auto payment. Uh, make sure to check the balance and pay the entire statement. I mean, that's kind of Captain Obvious, but maybe I just like to make a little note to myself and then maybe I want to do something else. Uh, compare this month's spending to last month and see if there is any areas for improvement. So again, just a little note to myself, like if I had an admin that I was ch chatting with, I would probably tell her to do the same thing. So again, everything auto saves inside of ClickUp. You don't have to hit a save button. It is all there and all good. So third step, make sure you have highlighted the space that you want to have automation sent from. And over here, we're gonna click automate and add automation. Now we're gonna drop down here to the left to email and we're gonna click when due date arrives. And then we're gonna select the email account. I only 
only had one. And then over here, we're going to change this from when start, due date arrives to uh, when start date arrives. Uh, and that's going to be our condition that triggers when an email gets sent. So we're going to send an email from, remember I said this was ClickUp notifications, and it's going to go to, and I'm still going to send it to myself, which you can do, pretty fabulous designs dot com. And from here, I don't need to CC or BCC anyone, but the subject, I'm going to put the subject as the task name. And then over here in the body, I'm going to say something nice to myself like, hey there, gorgeous. Um, you're probably like, you talk so weird to yourself, Lisa. Okay. Hey there, gorgeous. Um, you have an upcoming um, auto renewal payment. And then I am going to add in the task name down here at the bottom. Um, so I can add task name, and then I can have another field for task description. Remember, I put a little note to myself. And then I can add something here that says due date is, and then I'll just add due date over here. And then I can add a signature. So I'm going to add that motivational signature. I get that nice little note to myself, and I am going to create this. So I am pretty much done. Um, so what's gonna happen is you're gonna see that we have one automation and every time anything in this list, even as I keep adding things, anytime a start date arrives, it is going to send an email to myself with all of that information, with the task name and the task description and all of that fun stuff in the email signature. And that way I can be my own virtual assistant to remind myself of due dates, start dates, and give myself a little bit of a heads up. So I hope you like that. Let's just review that really quick. There were only three steps. The first was to simply go here to integrations, make sure you integrate your email account, you can add a signature, um, you can create templates if you have a team. And then the second step was to create a list and make sure to add in a start date and a due date. And then the third step was to go to automations and audit, add an automation, go down to email, make sure to go due date, uh, select your email account, then go to when start date arrives, and then go ahead and type in your email, and then you can add in different fields to the subject and to the body of the email, as well as that awesome signature that you made for yourself. All right, I hope everyone's having a fabulous day, and I will talk to you later.